Deputy Speaker. It does seem odd, given what is happening outside this chamber, the bank runs, the economic crisis, that we are spending time talking about uh, major accident hazards involving dangerous substances. But then it occurred to me that there is a certain grisly aptness in this report. The most dangerous substance of all turned out to be the euro. I don't mean that in a literal sense. Well, I, I understand that some people did have an allergic reaction to the particular kind of alloy used in the coins, but even I am not going to try and turn that into an argument against the single currency. But what happened was that our leaders, so taken with their dream of political union, disregarded all of the economic danger signs with the calamitous consequences that we can see around us today. Poverty, preventable deflation, emigration, despair, and the prospect of endless tax rises, all because we were so in love with this dream of ever closer union. Outside the European Parliament in Brussels, there's that statue of a female figure holding aloft the euro sign as a symbol to the greatness of the currency. Years from now, when there's tumbleweed blowing through that part of town and the European Parliament is in ruins, archaeologists will find its vast and trunkless legs of stone and see the inscription on the pedestal, look on my works, ye mighty and despair.